Engage. I'm on the same thing. So anyway. Yeah, facts. That's lit, yo. Be, yeah, be faithful to the black guy. So anyway, we in the building. Your boy Jazz wanna supply BBCRadio.com. Real reviews on deck. Yeah. We got our man DB here. Yeah. Ill Will. Yeah. And DJ Pill. We are reviewing Bandana. Gangsta Gibbs. Yes, Freddie Gibbs. <laughs> He's back again. <laughs> what another gangsta album. <laughs> Talking that shit. <laughs> With Mad Lib. <laughs> Got them LA vibes <laughs> mixed in with that Gary and the and the Grime. <laughs> Y'all know what it is. <laughs> so, initial impressions when I dropped dropped it in the group chat. DB, what were you thinking? I didn't know who you were talking about. The fuck? You never left? <laughs> You've never heard of Gangsta Gibbs, son? No. I'm so proud. I'm, I'm happy for you, yo. So this is your first time into I'm a new world, yo. Like, I'm, 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 be I'm becoming. I'm slowly becoming. I'm not gonna say a fan, but you know what? I can, I can get into it. I dig it. I dig His it. catalog is worth diving into. So I like, uh, so you join with him and push your teeth. Dig it. Insane. Uh, pill. Initial impression, sir. When you saw the the link in the chat. I think my first impression was. JS1 is gonna skeet all over this project. Pause, but you know what I'm saying? I just, whoa, in the wink, like, no, like, don't, 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 don't touch the nigga phone. Yeah, just don't do it. Like, I just knew it. it was the, I think that was my first, it was just like, all right, Freddie Gibbs, all right, whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's all, that's what I asked, but it was. Really? Yeah, it was like, because I ain't really like, the last album I already ain't really fucking one for like, You ain't Freddy? like Freddie? I ain't like Freddie. Wow. He's got an album called Freddie. Let me ask you this. No, since because his name is Freddie Gibbs. Since I put in Freddie Gray by accident, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Let me ask you this, yo. Sorry. Just you and me. Pause. Yeah. <laughs> me and you. Just, just, off, just off the two albums. Which one did you like more? Oh, this one. Really? This one, not, and I'm not saying Freddie wasn't dope. It was fire, but this one, I agree with that. Another level, another level. All right, so highs and lows. I really hope. Pill. It sounds like you don't like this shit, so no, I want to get that I mean, out of the way first. Let's go, let's go, so we can get on the dick riding train. Boss, boss. We'll be back after this brief <laughs> message. I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> so I gotta go. <laughs> so I think I think the biggest thing for this project, the production was fire. Like the Fast. production was amazing. So but on the the negative side of that, it was like, all right, so Freddie Gibbs is gonna give you it's giving you buzz and the production is fire. So which one do I listen to? Am I listening the production drowns out his buzz and it's just like Shit, I'm trying to pay attention to both, but it's hard to pay attention to both because one's taking my attention this way and the buzz are taking my attention from that other He's side. like, pussy titties. Yeah, Which one do I fuck on? Do I suck the titties or do I fuck her? Or do I suck the titties or do I fuck her? You do it all. I can't do both. I don't know. I can't. <laughs> she too tall. No, 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 uh, shout out to Pusha T Dropping oh. a, a dope ass verse on that joint um, That shit's fire Shout out to Killer Mike Y'all trying Not acknowledge oh, yeah. Nah I mean that's a legend Bigger That's a legend Yeah that nigga's crazy And the way he styled on that yeah. hook Was just real I, fire Yeah Alright so Will Come on Hurry up Highs and lows I didn't really have any lows on it Didn't think I so like, I like the journey I was going on Got it. you the Production the Production was good Right. Bars phenomenal. Definitely. I, I agree. I, we barred you to death. The all day. Yeah. And I was loving it. Yeah. Pause. I was loving it. I mean, it shit was just. <laughs> it was just. It we was know you love his bar, but yeah. still. It was, put the it was. <laughs> you barred you to death. And I was loving it. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I, mean, it was, it was, I was loving it. <laughs> Definitely. It's just completely different than what you hear hearing now. So damn, yeah, put the words together, make the it a breath of fresh air. And I was like, you know what? This shit is good. 
so far, he's not let me down. This guy sounds like he went on a really good date. <laughs> the, but I knew he was going to like it because he liked old school 90s hip hop. And this had that, and, and this had that 90s hip hop vibe. Like I said, it That's, gave you a nice little journey. And, and it's just. I can't really sit there and say it was one on there that I didn't really like like that. I mean. Fuck it. His, all, his features were on point. Right. And ain't like he was like. Yeah, you shouldn't have had that person. You should have had this. All his features was on point. They worked. Okay. Yeah, and it, that's what made it a good project for me. That's that's why I don't have any lows for it. All right, DB, where you at with the highs and lows? I, I mean, honestly, I was just introduced to him, and I was just like, yo, where have I been? Where have I been? So, I mean... Yeah, I, we've been honestly, wondering that. Where have you been? Yeah, and I, 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 I didn't... I didn't need to know all that. Just get back on to that the review. One, I wouldn't... I wouldn't wouldn't disagree because we wouldn't review the the last one. Mm-hmm. I want to listen to this one. Mm. I well, it did make me go back and listen to the first one, right? So one thing I mean, I listened to two singles from the first one, but at the same time, it was just, I wanted to see like if he was consistent, mm-hmm. and he was consistent. You know what I mean? Well, if you if you if you yeah, I'm about to say the Freddie album is more of his trap shit. Yeah, and then sound, this is more hip hop. He delivered is what I'm basically saying. It's like he's got a joint called Cocaine Pinata that is it's an album. It's fucking phenomenal. <laughs> Cocaine Piata is crazy. It's more of this. It's more of the like boom bap sound it, with the hip hop shit. 90s, and then so. like he'll he kinda does that where he'll do an album of trap and then he'll do like an album of boom bap and he'll go back and do an album of trap and then another album of trap and then he'll come back and do some boom bap. That's his kind of like little slick way of like he likes to do shit. Cause he likes to do shit on both sides. Like he wanna do his trap shit, but then he really loves Hip hop in that way, gotcha. so like you know what I mean. And I'm sorry, finish your review. What, what yeah, else? Yeah, no, I'm gonna say, nah. I mean, all highs for me, man. I'm gonna be honest with you. I mean, I was introduced to somebody new, had some fire on there. Like I said before, the joint with him, Pusha T, Killer Mike, all that. Like, I mean, seriously, like, I'm I'm a, I'm 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 a low key fan. I will support. My nigga, Jeez. to me, it was another moment where I was like, this is for like my older brothers. And grown niggas That love That grew up on hip hop But feel like All of that shit That's on the radio They can't yeah. do yeah. So when niggas Be coming at me Like man hip hop dead man These no, long niggas not. Kill that shit My nigga ain't nothing out that, good that, to that goes do. back To what I'm saying it's, it's different Than what you're hearing Every day on the radio it's But just, I feel like so Niggas like forgot pressure. What it was like To be young When we was young We were looking For that shit Facts. Facts. The Wu-Tang albums That we sat here And talked about For hours yeah, A lot of that shit Wasn't on the radio nah, We right found right. out About it through mixtapes yeah. And different yeah. little You know We was reading The Source magazine And we decided yeah. To give something yeah. A listen yeah. Or somebody came oh, And had to take yeah. Right And then you started Fucking with shit This the same way Like you know what I'm saying that, yeah, This generation that, Like I said If I wouldn't have if you, we wouldn't did the last, I would have never listened. I would have saw it on there. Just we would have just kept going, right? Because because when we reviewed the last one, I had been saw it up there. I just I listen to that shit. Of course, about the third time I said it, you put it in. I was like, got to now. And you know what's crazy? There is no central platform where both the superstars and the underground niggas overlap. Right. In the nineties, Double XL and Source and you know, BET uh, and Vibe or whatever. There was an overlap between yeah, the superstars and yeah. the up and comers yeah, or the absolutely. niggas that was underground. Absolutely. Wait, but, wasn't it? There's a whole like, uh, what was it, Up Next or some shit like right. that? Right. There yeah, was yeah. always Up Next. There was always a place in the, in the magazine for yeah. something that wasn't as popular. Yeah. But you always had a Jay Z ah. or a Puff or a Big or whatever that was in yeah. that place. But then you always had Duck Down. Then you had old original gun carpets. You know, you always had underground niggas. They got their shine. You you know what I'm saying? The same way Master P was getting his shine, there was, you know, Mac or 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 Soldier Slim or whatever, yeah, all these yeah. underground niggas. Mm-hmm. But there's no place like that. Complex will stick with whoever's the hottest right now. Right. So yeah. And then the other the smaller niggas don't get as much attention. Mm-hmm. So it, it does become a little bit more fragmented, but you know, I, I feel like yo, this shit is lit. But at the end of the day, I will say it like this. Great phenomenal album. Facts. This is the best way you do an album when you ain't talking about shit and we don't know where the fuck is going. Yeah. Because we don't care. It's so, yeah, it was yeah. so, it I, you, it this was some was complicated like nothing you just talked about, but you made it sound dope. Yeah. <laughs> this ain't shit, nigga. You ain't talking about nothing, nothing. of any kind of yeah, no, consequence, no value. <laughs> value or nothing. This was some, this was the best McDonald's I've ever had. 
in my life. This is the number two. Let me get that number two. Yeah, right. Number two airbag. Like, but this shit was hard. You gonna keep eating it out, keep coming back. That's my crack. I mean, it was valued, valuable. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. He tried to run through that. Yeah, one, yeah, yeah. You know, pause. Pause that too. Yeah, right. He tried to run through it. <laughs> <laughs> I need to just in case, you know. You know just yeah. him. Woo. So it had value in its creativity and the production, but after, like, I feel like there's pre four 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 in the in the world after four four four. Like, I, I feel like mm. in a way of. There was a adult male black person that showed you how to make an album with substance and quality to say some shit and still you could be a little ignorant, you could be a little flashy, but I'm showing y'all the way. Yeah. And then either niggas to- went and was like, yo, that's cute. I'm going back to my ignorant shit. Or niggas really went and was like, T.I.'s last album that he just dropped was like chock full of, you know, intellectual shit. You know what I mean? Grown folk right. It was really for grown folk. Now, I'm only saying Fred because Fred is squarely in his mid to late 30s. Not necessarily feeling like I needed him to tell me about his time he was in jail for a supposed rape. It wasn't real, but whatever. But I would have liked to have gotten to know enough. more about, yeah. Went to jail. But, I mean, he sold so many bricks on here. I think he's the richest drug dealer in America, for real, for real. There was a lot of bricks being sold in this album. We, uh, El Chapo's in America right now, but yes. Right, right. And shout out to Jim Jones for El Capo. <laughs> but let's break this up and do uh, our normal shit. Lyrics between one and five mics, DB. I'm going to give him a solid five. All right, solid Pill. Five. Yeah, that was way too much. You really jumped out the window on that. I'm, I'm just saying. Ah. Wait, listen, I, 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 the fresh air for, some, for some reason, I knew he was gonna say five. I, I, I saw. He a coming. New York nigga. He can't help it. Ooh. Come on, pill. I give, One, him, I give him a solid three and a half. There you go. Well, okay, I was gonna go three and a half. I'm going to go three and a half as well. We'll let that nigga down on his own. Uh, Let's talk about the production between one and five. Mike's DB. Jump out that window again. Give it a four. I'll give it a four. Oh, he being safe. No, I will. He being safe. Throw me some rope. Throw me some rope. Y'all want to just let a nigga hang like this? Yes. Yes. (laughs) All right, Bill. Production between one and five. Mike's, where you at? I'll give him a four, too. I'll sit there. Will. Three seven. Fuck out of here. This shit is a five, nigga. Fuck out of y'all, nigga. I'm jumping. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> Big waves. Um, the flow of the project. How one song flows into the next in relation to the whole project. DB one of five. What? What's going? Uh, I'm gonna give it a four. All right, pill. I give it a three. Well. I'm going to go 3-8 I'm going to go 4 Alright let's go uh, Artwork <laughs> And how it relates to the music I mean, DB I mean it's funny It's funny I mean, uh-huh. But you know I, I, give it, I give it a 2 You know what I mean That's fucked up yeah, Pill yeah. Zero. You giving it a zero? zero? Did you see the animated version of this? Shredded the animated. I, I'll show y'all an animated version of it. It's funny as shit. Well, what you giving it? Is that Winnie the Pooh? No, it's uh, another trash. character he came up with years That's ago. That's not Winnie the Pooh. No, it's, it did look like Winnie. Trinidad Ash. Don't do it. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean. No, he's not going to jump. He's somewhere between a one and a two and a half. I'm gonna go with a one. Told you. I, I like it. I'm going four, so fuck y'all niggas. So anyway, I really that like jump. that album. Yo, you see the outline, the chalk outline? Ah! Yeah. <laughs> the <laughs> overall <laughs> album between one and five mics, you fucking uh, asshole. I'm going to give it a 4.5. Wow, you tripping. Um, nah, Pill? Will? 3.6. I'm going to get a 3.8. It's fair. It's really fair. It's close to a four. That's fine. <clears throat> uh... Does this have any replay value on a personal level? Yes. No. Seriously? What, what did he I'm do to you? I'm not going to listen to this ever again. Like, I'm, just, I'm just never going to go back here and say, hmm, Freddie Gibbs. No, I'm not going to do that. So, <laughs> I will. Honestly, I listened wow. to it this morning on the way to work. I said, yeah, I listened to it twice already. Yeah. I've been listening to it a lot So it's all good It's got replay value Alright ladies and gentlemen Drop your comments In the comment section Tell us what you like Dislike Or how retarded we are About this whole Everything We know we love y'all Check us y'all Don't forget To subscribe To our channel VVC Life Don't forget to follow us On all social media Next